Good morning. Today's the day that I'm going to pull my beets. And I'm going to uh, show you what I'm going to do as I pull them up. Okay. That's what they look like. Get them out this side. Okay. And I'm going to cut about that much off leave the roots and put them in my pan and the reason I'm doing that is <clears throat> I'll wash them real good and then I'm going to leave that much of the stem on it and I'll put these in a pan of water to boil after they're washed and everything. And as they get soft, then this root and all will just peel off. I'll show you that later. But some of them are not real big, but some of them are bigger. But they're going to be so, so good. I, we love beet pickles. I think the only thing I have ever seen that Sean Martin will not eat is a pickled beet. Well, he ate one a couple of years ago and did not like it. So we were out here the other day and I pulled one up. It's a tiny one, but we'll do it whole. Um, pulled one up the other day and he peeled it and he ate it and he said I like them better not pickled which shocked me but beets are good for you and I, lo I love them either way but I did plant these seed real close together I just sort of scattered them in a row and I never thinned them. But you know, if you buy beets from Amish, they're little, they're not sliced beets. They're about that size. But, you hear that tractor, we have behind us in the woods, they're doing some clearing between our house and Sean's back there. And my, cousin Sally's so this is going to take a little while to do so I just wanted to show you what we're doing these are my cowhorn peppers right there they make good pepper sauce real good pepper sauce but I'm gonna have to plant something else where these beets came out don't know what yet but I will plant something. Ooh, look at here, Harold. Yeah. That's a big one. I'll have to slice that once they get soft. I'll have some slice, some whole. But they're all gonna taste the same. Thank y'all so much. Harold, just show them our tomatoes. How many tomatoes are over there? I see a huge one. Let me show you. Yeah. Can you see that? You ready? That's bigger than my hand. Okay, I can't see it. Okay. Can you see where I'm going? Right. Well, maybe they can. I'll walk over and get you a picture over there. Okay. They're just starting to turn on these vines. These were the second vines we put out. Uh, these are the first ones, and we've, we've gotten a few off of here, a few ripe tomatoes. You see they kind of escaped the uh, cage. I see a red one down under there. I'll see if I can get to it. I really put the tomatoes too close together this year. There's a small red one we got, and I saw another one under here. A 
little bit bigger, but good size. Not huge, but good size. So that's it from, I, I guess you can say, Sue says it's Peter Rabbit's garden. You see the sign here, so that's, that's what we got this morning. Somebody's gonna say, what are you gonna do with the tops of these? I'm gonna put them in my compost pile. Okay. That's what I'm gonna do. Thank y'all for joining us. It's a busy day in the gardens today. I'll be back.